thank you all for coming today and for having read my book, You'll Never Blue Ball in This Town Again, about all the guys I did not have sex with in the 90s. I'm really excited to hear your feedback, especially my good friends and also the people in Hollywood who I just admire so much. Thank you for all coming here today. Now in the book, I revealed that I was a virgin until I was 27 and subsequently blue balled a lot of guys in the greater Los Angeles area. 27 years? I haven't gone 27 hours without having an orgasm. That is, unless you count the years before preschool. Is blue balling like dry humping or is it grinding? I'm just confused. I never blue balled anybody because I always just put out. <laughs> what can I say? When you're hot, you're hot. I admit that I accepted many dates solely for the purpose of being fed. Samantha, have you ever done anything for the wrong reasons? Oh honey, please, I sent packages to myself just so I can fuck the UPS guy. How else are you supposed to get a little fresh dick in the middle of the afternoon? I thought I was a slut, but Samantha, you're a real whore. Ooh. You know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. When I met my husband, Ordinate, he was still married and had kids who were 30 years old. But I waited, and now we're married. We could not be happier. We have my son, Rene, he is nine, and my stepsons are 62 years old. So happy. I married Tom Green. Like, need I say more? I don't want to brag, but Blair's boyfriend asked me to prom. <laughs> I talk a lot about my years at USC and being in a sorority. I could relate to it, it you know, best I can, seeing as how I uh, didn't go to college or was not in a sorority. I wasn't in a sorority per se, but when I had the honor of producing Charlie's Angels 1 and 2, I felt like Cameron and Lucy Liu were my sisters. Like, we were our own sorority. It was the best time of my life. Like, I'm so incredibly blessed to be part of that production. Me in a sorority with those bitches? Heavens, no. What'd you think about all the predicaments I got myself into as a struggling stand-up comedian and unemployed actress? Heather, I was a stand-up comedian too. The only difference between you and me is I'm funny. <laughs> 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 I just got this new mascara campaign for Lash Blast Mascara and it's just bold, big, easy breezy lashes. And I'm like, I don't have long lashes, but now that I've gotten it, I absolutely adore it and give it to my friends and just tell everybody to get it because it's waterproof and it's splash proof. So I found it kind of funny and ironic that even though I was a virgin, I went to the Playboy Mansion many times. I've been to the Playboy Mansion. I actually have been to some Playboy parties. I posed in Playboy and you know what? I love being naked. I'm a hippie dippy girl, but I'm a big, big dork. I've been to a party there, yeah, Heather. I was, um, I was working it, unfortunately. <laughs> I went to the Playboy Mansion once, but when I was swimming in the grotto, everyone thought I was drowning. <laughs> what can I say? When you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> in the book, I talk about how I had several chances to have sex with some famous people like Vince Vaughn. Do you think I made a mistake, Samantha? How could you not sleep with Vince Vaughn? Now that's one tall drink of water that I could take in one gulp. What? You ladies don't swallow? Those are the only kind of calories worth consuming. Full of protein. Now compare that to your Atkins diet. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you made a mistake with Vince Vaughn. I was so annoyed at you. I was even willing maybe to do a Catholic girl threesome, like to make it happen. Who's Vince Vaughn? Is he a singer? In the book, I talk about how I met my husband, Peter. What did you think of that, Celine? You know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. So when we make love, you know what? My husband, Orlane, he has a heart condition. So I have to get on top. But you know what? He fills me up all three times a year. Cause that's the way it is. That's the way it is. I think that a lot of us have many soulmates. When you're someone like me that like found herself at rehab at nine, doing cocaine off a table, it's like be open to the universe and what it brings you. Drew, I don't know what you're talking about and people have trouble understanding me. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's not perfect, but you gotta go with your heart. Renee, that's it. Every morning I just wake up and I say, cause I'm your lady and you are my man. And he loves it. You know, I just go, ah. and I wake up my son that way too. I go, Renee. It's time for breakfast. And he, he loves it, you know, because he's a singer too. He's only nine, he's like, oh, I'm a singer. So thank you guys all for coming. I really appreciate it. The book comes out June 8th, and I'll have book signings and a, a big book party that um, they'll be invited to, but I can't get everyone on the list. Can I go to the party? Um, I'm just keeping it to just like Chelsea and people that are on um, non-cable shows, besides myself. <laughs>